it looks like the title fight is scheduled. I'm not officially 100% sure yet, but I think Wednesday, January the 15th of 2025 is where Mr. Gurr takes on the state of Wisconsin in the case that will forever be known as Scootergate. Now, this board is reserved for my God-making data. And this map right here is kind of fading away idea because you know what? I've been chasing the white whale trying to cure Moby Dick of toxicity for quite some time now. Not doing so well on that, but at least, hey, I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory. <sighs> so before I start thinking about Churaka Tool and Viveth Tool and all the er other areas of the Godmaker universe, universe, excuse me, uh, I need to think about how do I succeed at Scootergate. Now, I don't have to win. Like I was saying yesterday in the garage, uh, by my Rocky poster. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if I win. It just matters if I go in there and, and do my best and I can go go home proud saying, hey, I tried my best to inoculate the white whale against the toxicity that's just kind of taken over the world. I mean, the oceans are toxic. The air is toxic. You know, yeah, the white whale is toxic. I'm trying to cure it and I will fail, but that doesn't matter. So let's think about this for a second. There are, give or take, 700 people at the monastery, give or take. Now, the thing is, I have been gone so long, and the turnover is so crazy at the monastery. There's probably at least 100 people that don't even know who the heck Mr. Gurr is, and that uh, is good for the state because I'm a pretty memorable guy. That's for sure. I have a reputation as Mr. Gurr. And I won't go into the details of that yet, but everybody has a reputation. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's very brief. Sometimes it's very long. But how many of the 600 people that know of me and my reputation We'll give Mr. Gurr a thumbs up. Hey, you know what? The white whale hunt is better with Mr. Gurr. Or how many would give a thumbs down as to, hey, no, we don't want him on the team. He is crazy. So uh, I'm not going to get into that. The thing is, I know for a fact that there are six, I would say six people that I need to concentrate on out of the 600 and these are the people that are like, no way. Mr. Gurr has got to go. The thing is, if I can convince those six people that, no, you're, you're making a mistake, then kind of by logic, I think the case kind of wins itself. So let's start. You know, uh, in Godmaker, there are six different areas on the map. There are uh, different degrees of difficulty in these areas of the map. And the easiest area of the map ah, is the green area. It's kind of like the bunny hill. So who goes in the green area? That's easy. Now I'm going to put code names on here. So I'm not making anybody specifically uncomfortable. Trojan Man. I did not give that nickname out. Uh, that's one that kind of came with the territory. I like that nickname, though. I think that Trojan Man, he would be the easiest to get the thumbs up. Next, let's go with Blue. Aye, the way you like it, Blossom. It's one of my favorite lines from Highlander. What a good movie. But anyway, Blossom, I think that Blossom could easily be turned well, depending on what happens. Uh, next, let me think. Um, uh, who would I say is... Uh, hmm. Probably... 
And we're going to go with Woodland Jr. We're getting into the challenging levels now. There's not a whole lot of woods in that particular area of the map, but I would say that Woodland Jr. is probably the next most difficult now. I did not give that nickname either. I've heard also Woodland 2.0, but I think Woodland Jr. is is a better is a better name, so I'm going to go with that. This is a name that I heard very recently, and forgive me if I spell this wrong. I'm not a big Harry Potter buff, but Lady Voldemort. This is where we're starting to get into the, there is no way, Mr. Gurr, unless you can do the impossible. There is no way you are ever going to get this person to give you a thumbs up and say, yeah, you belong on the team. And I would think that this one, another, whoa, you got your work cut out for you, Mr. Gurr. That ain't never going to happen. Hell would have to freeze over twice. Be red. And I did not give that nickname. That's probably one of the most popular nicknames in Winnebago County. Ooh, almost caught myself there. Yeah, Winnebago County. I live in Winnebago County. I can say that, right? Oh, my gosh. Got to redo the video. No, I don't. But anyway, the thing is, I hate that nickname. I absolutely hate it. Uh, it, it points to the it points to the points to the truth of the matter that uh, there's just way way too much cruelty going on in the world, and I'll probably talk about that cruelty at length. And last, the most difficult, challenging, deadly part of the map is called the wastes, and it's at the center of the map. Uh, this is where there was a, a great cataclysm and God Maker. And this whole area is a basically desolate wasteland where if you wander the deserts and the waste there, you absolutely uh, go crazy, go insane just from being there. So it's someplace you don't want to go. Very, very dangerous part of the map. And uh, yeah, at the heart of it all, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. I'm a big, big fan of Powerpuff Girls. What can I say? Whoop. 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 Yeah, so Mission Impossible. If I could get all six of these people to say, you know what? After listening to Mr. Gurr and his rambling and his stories and his anecdotes and his parables, yeah, we need him. It ain't never going to happen, but hey. It's going to be fun to try.